Um, thanks, Tom, for emotionally preparing the audience for my outfit. Um, and it's every uh, comedian's dream to follow up a talk on uh, how to save dying babies, so that makes me feel really good. It does. Um, here's the deal, guys. We have this uh, really annoying racism, bigotry, and Islamophobia problem in this country. And if you ask me, the best way to deal with it is to make white people laugh. Now, I know your first question is, why white people, right? Um, that's a really good question. Uh, and it, the reason why white people is because they control a lot of institutions, like the government, the economy, uh, outer space, um, AMC's Mad Men, and TED Talks. So, now, like most of you, I'm an Iranian-American Muslim female comedian, and we're, we're really good at communication, so I've developed a series of guidelines on how to make white people laugh, okay? Now, the first one is, Change the stereotype. Um, now, if you're from Belgium, you're known for delicious waffles. If you're from Brazil, you're known for big-breasted women who wear and sell fruit. <laughs> if you're from Iran, you're known for uranium, uranium enrichment. <laughs> now, this last example is not edible. If you are from a country where the stereotype is not edible, you need to change the stereotype, okay? I wrote a show called Bootleg Islam, and in this um, show, I tried to equate Iran with eggplants. Because Iranians don't give a shit about uranium, but they have a super duper hard on for eggplants. Okay? It's true. So, throughout the show, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to elevate the discourse that way. I feel like I said some words you don't understand, too big. Um, now, throughout the show, I chronicled my relationship with eggplants, and um, I don't want to talk about what happened that night. Um, and by the end of the show, instead of calling me a dirty Iranian terrorist, people were calling me a dirty Iranian eggplant lover. It's a market improvement. Now, the next rule of thumb is don't be afraid to talk about politics, okay? Politics are the burqa-clad elephant in the room. You have to talk about them to diffuse the tension, all right? So I wrote a show called The Israeli-Palestinian Conflict, a Romantic Comedy. It tracks the conflict back to a one-night stand that happens between Israel and Palestine at the 1948 Geneva Convention, which, as we all know, was a really slutty convention. And it's a, it's a two-person musical. There's also animation throughout. And here's a sample of that animation, uh, what happens when Israel and Palestine first meet. That's right. It was really beautiful. Um, the next rule of thumb is to get up into people's faces, but do it in a delightful way. So myself and comedian Dino Bidala went, uh, took a bunch of Muslim American comedians, and we went around the country to places like Alabama, Mississippi, Arizona, Georgia, places where they love the muzzies. And, <laughs> and we did stand-up shows, and we called the tour The Muslims Are Coming. Right which some people thought was like a preventative warning lecture on the coming Muslim apocalypse. They were very confused when it was just a stand-up show. Uh, when we weren't doing shows, we would go into the middle of town squares and set up and ask a Muslim booth where people could come and ask us questions. Questions like, why are you wearing so much cleavage? Now, uh, the, and the next rule of thumb is get some non-threatening allies, i.e. other white people, okay? And we documented the Muslims Are Coming tour for a feature film that's coming out later this year, and we got some allies to talk in a movie about Muslims. Here's a sampling of who they are and a summary of what they said. Muslims. 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 Millions and millions of Muslims. Islam. Gay. Gays and Muslims. My name is John. I'm a Jew. Islam. 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 There's no God, you fool. Muslims. 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 What about those Muslims? 
Now, in conclusion, <laughs> as you can see from this graph, the more jokes you tell on the x-axis, okay, the better white people feel on the y-axis. I know this is a really complicated graph for you guys. But as you can tell, there's like a slight dip after joke number four, and I think you guys even remember, you guys were a little weird after joke number four on the, for this guy. Uh, but don't worry, because it goes right back up, and also don't worry because this graph is totally made up. Now, if telling jokes isn't your thing, that's totally fine. You can just go out and hug a Muslim, make a baked good for an immigrant, get wasted with someone you don't know, and as long as we're keeping white people happy, they're less likely to start wars. So thank you, that's all.